I see you're considering getting into the amazing hobby of fish keeping. That's great, but whoa, don't rush to the store to get your fish just yet. You will have to do some research first, but don't worry, I can help you get started. So first, let's talk about fish. Since you are just starting, you will want to get a fish that is easy to take care of. I thoroughly recommend that you do your research before getting the fish, as this will help you decide which fish is best for you. I know making decisions are sometimes hard. Um, this is why I have a few suggestions for you. So minnows, daniels, platys, and guppies, and bettas, they're all great beginner fish that they're all very hardy, so they can tolerate a wide range of environment. Um, but to get something straight, Goldie is a terrible fish for beginners despite its relatively small size. Goldfish need um, at least 29 gallons of water to live comfortably, so unfortunately you will not be able to keep a goldfish, as a beginner at least. So 10 to 20 gallon aquarium are best for beginners, as they are generally quite, quite affordable and can house a wide array of fish. Again, do your research before deciding what and how many fish you would want in your aquarium for equipment, filter to house the beneficial bacteria, a light, a lid to prevent your fish from jumping out, heater for tropical fish, and decoration of your choice. It's all pretty standard stuff. You can get them um, at like pretty much any fish store that you can find. Um, I would also recommend getting a water test kit, which I have, to as they can provide you with accurate water parameter readings and can help you monitor toxins level in your aquarium, which is quite important as um, if, you, if you test the water and it shows there's ammonia buildup or nitrate buildup or nitrate buildup, you know it's time to change the water, so test kits are really important. Before you happily introduce your fish to the aquarium, remember to cycle the aquarium beforehand. If you don't know what cycling means, it is basically the process of getting the good good bacteria, they're your friend, whose job is to manage the fish's waste ready to start processing the waste produced by the fish. You can get lab-bred bacteria ready in a bottle, which can jumpstart the cycle, which I often use, or you can do it the traditional way by adding small amount of liquid ammonia, which you can buy online or in some stores. You, uh, by adding a small amount of liquid ammonia into the t water, which will provide the bacteria with food required to reproduce, once the tank is cycled, it is ready for your fish. So yay, finally, your fish can be introduced into your aquarium. Once you have your fish into the aquarium, there's even more work to be done. Every single day, you need to feed your fish, check on them, make sure that everything is well in the aquarium. This is very important as um, by observing um, if your fish is eating well or they swimming well, you can tell if there are potential, if they are contracted with potential disease, which can potentially even save the fish. So that is very important. Check on your fish every single day, do it. And doing bi-weekly or monthly water changes to suck out all the toxins, especially the nitrates, um, and make sure that the water quality stays at a acceptable level. I mean, you, you don't want your fish to swim in poo water, neither does the fish. So water changes, very important, but also remember, always remember to add water conditioner like this um, after you change the water as um, tap water, they contain chlorine, which can kill your good bacteria and you don't want that. And also be sure to test the water with your test kit every week or even more often. I mean, more often the better. This way you can discover potential problems or contaminations and fix it in time so your fish don't die. So that wraps up today's episode of Freshwater Scrubs. And if you haven't noticed, this is the first ever scripted video I ever done. Um, here's a script. I was just reading off of this. So um, I hope um, that the script helped me um, make the video smoother and you can comment below if you like the script or if you like scripted video or no script better and remember to like and subscribe and i hope this video was helpful for you 
um, and for anyone starting uh, just starting into the hobby and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.